Well, good afternoon, brothers and sisters of the hook and of the book. Salty Kayak here. I'm showing you a little bit of what I've been doing the last six months. And it's not been fishing. I've been growing stuff. You see that? I don't know if you can see that. That's root boost. Root boost. It helps things grow. See these seeds here? Bamboo seeds. This is red fountain bamboo, moso bamboo, blue bamboo, sear grass bamboo seeds. Hummingbird seeds, morning glory, flower seeds, flower seeds, lots of flower seeds. Anyway, I have moved on from fishing. The Lord just took that out of my heart completely. I mean, boom, it was gone. And you know, when the Lord tells you to stop doing something, stop doing it. But He also gives you something else that He wants to teach you. And that's what's happened. These are, these are fire, what is it, fire bush. Firecracker bush, that's what they are. Firecracker bush. And hummingbirds just love them. It's one of the best, I don't see anything growing in that one there yet. One of the best hummingbird uh, flowers that you can get here in Florida. Oh, look at there. Oh, lots of them there. Lots and lots. Using my grow lights. I got several of them. It's a Barita or Baringa. Baria. Baria. Grow lights. These are 6500K. And I've got a big long one here. And I'll show you where I'm going to put that. Besides doing flowers, seeds, cuttings, I've also been doing some cement castings. These are actually, what are the, what's the name of these, hon? What kind of leaf? Elephant ear. Elephant ear leaves. That's what these are, these big ones here. And I've been doing castings. That's why I call my man cave a studio now because, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. See all the sparkles? I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I've given a bunch away. These are just leaves that I've cast out of cement. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Fantastic. Several months ago, I did these. This is my wife's genealogy. Goes up on the wall. Actually, about a year or two ago. And this is my genealogy. It took months to make this. And I do mean months. We had my sweet mom. And there's my, there's my daddy -o right there. And up through there. Just a few of our relatives, my relatives. This is, a, this is what I consider one of the Americans' greatest pastimes. Log cabin, and they are eating watermelon. Isn't that the coolest thing? See there? Look at that. Old-timey stuff for sure. John Thorne, kind of climbing a mountain there. Here's my mom and dad. And there's me and my dad. And there's some of the Adams family right there. There's my Aunt Althea, Uncle Jewel, Uncle Floyd. Uncle Jewel and Althea still alive. But Floyd, Uncle Floyd is gone. And this is what I consider one of my most important pictures because it's obviously... Uh, Delia Lucy de Ruin, de Ruin. I'm sure she's uh, uh, French, got some French background from Canada. But if you take a close look, you will see she's taking a picture of herself in a mirror. I consider that one of the world's first selfies. Here's my beautiful Aunt Althea. Fantastic. Anyway, let's get on with it here. So this is what I've been doing lately. I've been making leaves and painting. That's a big boy right there. 
you haven't seen the biggest boy yet. Since I haven't been fishing, I've been busy. Busy, busy, busy. Let's go on out here and we will see some of the action area, the busy area. Yeah, some of you have been saying, is he dead? No, I'm not dead. Big John, me and Big John, we still hang out together actually. Church functions, things like that, and I just helped him fix his uh, little problem he had on his new car. And this is probably going to fog up, and I'm probably going to have to clean the uh, clean the lens. These are some of my plants, and this this is a Ruelia Ruelia. Every day, every morning. It has these beautiful purplish blue flowers and every afternoon it drops them. Every morning more purplish blue flowers. Every afternoon they drop. I keep them well watered. This is kind of a pink Ruelia. See the flowers have already dropped off of it. I can't remember the name of this but I got a couple of them. <clears throat> There's some new flowers getting ready to come out. You know got up to 93 degrees. It's still 93 degrees. <clears throat> and I am having to keep everything, I'm double watering everything. Here's a leaf that's about ready to die. I might have to cut that off. And these are two um, avocado trees. If I find that bug that's eating that, boy, he's a goner. Two avocado trees that I have had for years. No avocados. But I've had it for years. There's that. Beautiful, beautiful. This is a all a Miranda or something like that. Alla Miranda. Beautiful flowers. They stay all day and they drop off one at a time. Okay. Here's my hummingbird feeders. And I've got just like one hummingbird that comes by every now and then. But I want to be ready. Here's one of my bird feeders. And I've, this is a baffle that I made. It keeps the squirrels out. It really does. One of the few that actually works. Keeps the squirrels out. And this is a bamboo fence that I made. Because my blasted dachshunds love them. But man, they can be a pest. They like to dig, dig, dig. But I also have bamboo buried all the way along here and these ones that are laying horizontal that's just a fence to keep my dogs from digging them up and see right there there's a new trailer back there and that's my window right there and that trailer right there they can look out that back window right into my trailer so I'm making a bamboo screen but I'm loving it. I'm having. I'm really enjoying it. You see this? These are from cuttings. This bamboo is alive, and there's some new bamboo growth right there. Here's from a cutting. That bamboo is living. These are some lime trees that Big John gave me from a cutting, and I don't see any life in them yet. I just stuck these in the ground. I've got cuttings out in my, I'll show it, you the cuttings out here that are doing pretty good. And these, this is an invasive plant that just grows everywhere. And a university gives you bugs that'll eat these things. But they're, and they're doing a good job, but these, they still keep growing. 
there's an elephant ear that I planted from a cutting. See, there's the end of a bamboo. And there's, uh, that's a little bamboo shoot right there. A little bamboo shoot. There's a bamboo shoot. And there's a boo shoot. Now these are just weeds. Just weeds. And there's a bamboo shoot. Yeah, man. I think uh, that's just a that's just a piece of grass. Those are that's grass. Okay. Let's go along here. This is just some plants that I stuck out here. I didn't have any other place to put them. This is bamboo that might produce roots. There's a piece of bamboo I stuck in there. This is a a bamboo cutting that my neighbor across the street over there gave me because she wanted me to thin out some of her um, bamboo stalks and that's where I got all these these stalks from and that's a node this thing here is called an internode and it's hollow as you can see that down there hollow but it's solid right here solid right there and that can produce roots and around the back side there'll be another one see it then right here is another one but right there is another one and this is called air layering and I cut a uh, jar in half a plastic jar wrap it around cut the bottom out wrap it around the the uh, internode just above or just below the, uh, the right here fill it full of dirt water it well every day pretty much and the roots will start growing from the uh, from the nodes then you cut it off and then you plant it okay John gave me these I'm gonna call John mr. green jeans because he's doing a lot of work a lot of mowing a lot of yard work for people uh, he's, he's a master um, used to own a greenhouse master garden and there's my dog out there barking those are called arrowhead plants because when they're they grow they turn they look like arrowheads but that's another elephant ear this is kind of a special thing that I created to recycle water look at all this water that's my girl biscuit right there hey biscuit wait did I scare you oh don't be scared see all this water gallons and gallons and gallons of water in here from the air conditioner air conditioner used to drip 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 just into the ground and disappear well I decided crazy that is pure water down in there look at that see all that water down there <clears throat> about twice a day this is an old battery I had from my shrimping since I don't do shrimping anymore gotta use that battery hear that water going in there I get all my clean fresh water it's actually pretty cool too cool water they don't have to use city water for my air conditioner recycling these this water is fantastic so and I have to go water everything twice a day <clears throat> in this 93 degree sun that we get <clears throat> excuse me and you see it burns these flowers that sun burns these flowers when it gets directly on them that one actually died I could not rescue it this is my Althea Rose of Sharon tree it was given to me and it's it was in bad shape when I first got it I mean a really bad shape it was in a, a container like that root bound and dry as a bone leaves were all about this size right here and sickly real sickly well I transplanted in here put good rich fertilizer in there water it every day twice a day because it, it uses about two gallons of water a day to grow and look at there I am just about to get my first blooms they're purple love that love that this is one of my water found bird bird um, 
bird bass. <laughs> That's a solar water fountain that works when the sun's on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is some bamboo that may or may not root. Don't know what this is. This is a fig tree. It's going to be a fig tree that I'm going to plant. You see what God's given me some skills in other areas other than fishing. So, this is from a cutting. There was absolutely nothing on here. When I first got it, I stuck it in there, gave it some real good watering every day, and some good fertilizer, and boom, look at that. That's going to be a nice fig tree. This I bought. <clears throat> it's a firecracker bush. Firecracker flower. Hummingbirds, this is the, the one of the main flowers for hummingbirds. And this is, I'm going to propagate. This is how you, you make another flower. And as soon as the roots start growing from a node right there, or two nodes maybe, I'll cut it off and it will just sprout there. And I'll get flowers on that. So I have two uh, firecracker uh, plants. Look at this. This is by far my biggest project. It's about 50, 60 pounds of cement, all painted and everything. That's an elephant ear. That's a leaf from an elephant ear. That's a, that's, it's a major project to make one of these, uh, especially to make it good. But that's beautiful. And it's waterproof. Okay, don't know what this is, but they're purple and they got purple flowers on them. But also, you've got to water them, water them, water them a lot. A lot. Can't remember what the name of that is. All these scientific names. And I've made these pots from cement, painted them. That's why I call it a studio. Here's my lizard, <laughs> keeping my bugs down. These are my climbing vines. Um, what's the name of this? Uh, morning glory. These are morning glories. They're going to get all covered over here. Don't know what the name of this is. Somebody gave it to me, and it grew so fast that I had to uh, repot it. And stuck one in the ground. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Wow. God is fantastic. This is jasmine. I need to do some more reading to figure out what I need to do because this looks like it's reaching. Reaching up here. This is nothing. Not that I had for years, so it's really nothing. And this, this is Lantana, that's what this is. Uh, incredible pollinator right here. Grew in the ditch because I decided to let some come over here on my side of the fence because uh, I like butterflies. And this is going to be a real beautiful flower once this cutting starts to go to town. Looks like it's kind of sickly and the, the heat of the day really withers it, but it snaps back at nighttime. Built this. This last week, got a noisy street. Built this this last week, and I'm going to put lots of flowers and stuff and plants on here. This is a fence that I ordered. It was three foot. I decided to cut it in half so I could have two pieces. Go we'll around this. It's going to be a flower garden. And the tiller that I bought is called a Sunjo. It's a 12 amp. Oh man, <laughs> it chewed this up and spit these, it, it cut these um, roots out. I mean, it's just amazing. Of course, it just lifted one end up and I got an axe and cut the other end. And this is from a cutting. Well, no, this is actually, I dug this uh, from my neighbor over there. Got beautiful flowers on it over there. I don't know if you can see it. Can I zoom in? Maybe. See those reddish flowers? Okay, that's not that's not what those big uh, leafy things are. That's this thing right here where those flowers they're behind the the big leaves there. Okay, let me back out. Anyway, this is uh, she let me dig up because I've been doing a lot of work for her over there. She's just an uh, older lady, single. And there's some babies right there. And this one's alive. This is a replant also, and you know, they go through shock. These leaves are dying, but there's some new ones. There's some new ones. 
one more. I water them twice a day minimum. Those are new flowers right there. Or new flowers, new leaves. Okay. Let's go around here. Get them, Biscuit. Get them. Get them lizards. Get them lizards, Biscuit. Yeah. All right. A couple trellises. This is my wife's idea. Once these uh, morning glories grow up and cover this, it'll hide that air conditioner. There's some more bamboo that I stuck out here. See, they're hollow on the inside. And if you cut them off one node at a time, and then the top, you can water them through the hole. You put water down there, the roots will pop out. They'll use that energy for creating roots. Okay, let's go into this. This is my gazebo that I built a couple years ago. Look at all these bamboo cuttings. See this one? Looks like it's going to die. That's okay. And this one looks like it's going to die, but this is still green, still green, still green, 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 green. And you know, if they die, I just throw them out in the garden and I'll chew them up with the uh, tiller. More bamboo, more bamboo, cuttings, cuttings. Fill these up with water. Hope that they, hope and pray that they, uh, they root. I'm enjoying this. Look at this. These are like little greenhouses. Get all steamy in there. And I got water in there. This is red bamboo. I call it red boo just because I'm lazy. Don't want to write bamboo when I could just write boo. I know what it is. See the steam or the uh, condensation? Like a little greenhouse. Put the date on it. In about a month, well, actually, in about 10 days to two weeks for seeds, you come and check and see if they sprouted. And when they start touching the, the, the uh, plastic, top of the bag, that's when you need to open it up and re repot them. This is blue bamboo, that's red fountain bamboo. This is the blue bamboo, blue boo. There's just some cuttings. I water it by pouring the water down the holes. And this is my little greenhouse. Got off of, of Amazon. I think it was 65 bucks. And it's supposed to take, you know, 45 minutes to put together. Of course, you know, me being a do-it-yourself kind of guy, I decided I didn't need to read the instructions. And, and two hours later, I had to take it back apart and read the instructions. <laughs> but it, it's all together, and it works great. Whew, it's hot in here. Right there, that's a cigar. I call them cigar plants because they got tubular uh, flowers that the hummingbirds love. There's one. You can't quite see. Oh, there's oh, there's four in there now. One, two, three, maybe five. That long guy he came up. There's only one in here though. See it? Only one. Avocado. Avocado. I've given a couple of avocados away, at least one to a friend. And this is my Arabicola Cephalaria Arabicola, this is. This is a cutting off of the Althea, Rosa Sharon, that is doing pretty good. There's a brand new leaves there, new leaves coming up there. This is also cuttings off the uh, Althea. That one's doing good, that one's doing great, and this one's doing really great. And I thought this one was dead, but those are flower buds. This one I think is dead. I'm not going to pull it out yet. This is more um, bamboo. Uh, this is a Plumeria Bridal Bouquet. Just a, a cutting that a friend gave me that was having a hard time getting started. Those are new. More bamboo cuttings. This is giant hyssop, Mexican giant hyssop that not a single seed has germinated. They may have all been dead by the time I got them. They may, may be last year's. This is Moso Bamboo Seeds. There's 12 seeds in there. I keep an eye on that. In about 10 days, I'll take a look and see if there's any. More Blue Bamboo. And this is definitely good. This is definitely good. This is still green. Um, we'll, see. we'll see if we get some sprouts out of this. There's a snail shell that I don't like. That snail shell, a sneaky little guy. 
Here is lime, the cuttings that John gave me. Big John. Call him Mr. Green Jeans. They're doing okay. He gave me these. He didn't know the name of them. But there's some kind of nice flower. Purple, purple leaves on them too. They're all doing great. Actually, it wasn't a cutting. Those were some that he dug up and gave me the root systems. That's my little bell water feature. Kind of cool, isn't it? Nighttime, that looks beautiful. Hanging, hanging. Okay, let's go around here and wrap this up. Anyway, you get an idea what the Lord is uh, giving me for inspiration. Bailey, Bailey, I love you, but don't dig up my bamboo. Mm. There, there's Biscuit over there. Look at her. Chasing lizards. <laughs> okay. Well, somebody, this was in a pot. Like one of those big pots that somebody gave me. So I just replanted it. No idea what it is. If somebody knows, let me know. I have no idea what that is. Okay, there's some more bamboo that I just stuck in dirt. And that one, uh, this might be an only one, 8.5 of 21. And it's, look at that, it's living. So it's got to have a root system that's developing. And there's a root system developing in this one. See, it got water in there. And there's this Shephelaria arabicola or whatever it's called. But look at that bamboo. That's from a, a long stem. Look at that. That's going to be a biggie. So you can grow bamboo from cuttings. Loving it. Loving it. Enjoying it. The Lord's giving me inspiration. Okay. And perspiration. Whew. 93 degrees out here. All right, this is where everything begins, right here. These, I got this in, these seeds in yesterday. Blue, boo, blue bamboo. These are seeds that I put in. You can see the steam starting to condensation. It'll be that way for about 10 days, and every three days I open these up and let oxygen in. These are morning glories that only one seed just pops up. Nope, there's another one right there. That's That come today. That came today. And I've got this one open for my red bamboo. I've got seeds, like five seeds planted around to see if they just come up. There's another bamboo. I don't know if this one will root, but I mean, it's kind of strong right there. Firebush, cigar, firebush. Look at that, look at that. From seeds, my friend, from seeds. Firebush. This is sadly a cosmos. It's not doing much and nothing. There's the, another Arabicola. Don't know what that is. It was given to me. Uh, I think that is marigold or no, uh, begonia. I think. I don't know what that is. I didn't label. Anyway, caladium. And this was a cutting John gave me. Hush! Baby. Yep. And this is periwinkle that John gave me. Periwinkle. We've got another periwinkle somewhere around here. Don't know where. Okay, and this is periwinkle. And I water. There it is. There it is. Looks like it's sad, but it's been sad like that for the last couple days. More bamboo. Flowers, flowers. Here's flowers. There are flowers. There were flowers. Flowers. Okay, that's what I'm doing lately. Um, and casting in cement or, or making molds from cement and then painting them up. Take, this takes about two days at least to paint it up. This one I consider done except I haven't uh, sealed it with uh, this sealant. Gorilla waterproof patch and seal. Does a good job. Okay, so now you know what Salty Kayak has been up to. Got a mess going, but he's got an organized mess going. God is blessing him. 
as he's blessing you and you know that he that God hasn't taken me yet and I'm looking forward to when he does but until then look at all this growing stuff I'm loving it now God bless you all and go to church tomorrow's church and honor God and he will give you the desires of your heart that's a promise from God all right catch you guys later bye